Hi everyone. In this video we are going to show you, how to host your own web server to build test websites. In our previous video I have used WAMP server. In this video I'm going to use ZAMP server which is my favorite one. First let's download ZAMP server from apachefriends.org official website. It will take few minutes to install ZAMP server on selected location. Don't start ZAMP control panel yet. You have to assign admin level access to ZAMP server. Without admin level access you will get error messages. To get admin level access you have to open ZAMP server installation and assign admin access. You can follow what we are doing now. Now you can double click and open the shortcut you have created on your desktop to launch ZAMP server. To start your local Apache web server, you have to start Apache service. If the service status turns green, it means your web server is running. Now we are going to test our web server. Open your web browser and type localhost. You should see ZAMP welcome page if everything works. As we did in the WAMP video tutorial, let's create a simple HTML test web page and open it using ZAMP web server. You must create your website folder in C, ZAMP, htdocs folder. Since this is running inside your local web server you can use any name here. Open the folder and create a new text file and rename it as index.html. Apache web server will pick index.html or index.php file as the default home page. Now you will see still this file is saved as a text file not a web page. Follow what I am doing and enable file extensions for known file types. Once this is done, you will see text extension after index.html text. Now delete text extension and click enter to convert this file to a HTML web page. Now let's edit the website content. To do that open the HTML web page using notepad or any other text editor. I'm going to type some text between an opening and closing H1 tags. You can follow what I am doing on screen. In my next videos you will learn how to design beautiful websites without writing codes using WordPress. Now save this text and open the web page folder inside the local host folder. As I have mentioned earlier htdocs is the local host folder. Inside that we have mywebsite.com folder and index.html file. Now go to your web browser again and open the folder inside the local host folder. As you can see our web page works perfect. We are using BR tags and paragraph tags to add few more text. Don't forget to close tags after entering text. You don't have to close BR tags because they are simply line breaks. After saving the document go to your web browser and click refresh button or press F5. You should understand this. We don't have to type index.html in our web browser because it detects index file as the default file. There is nothing wrong if we type the full web address. But even if we didn't enter index file name, website will appear normally. This is how websites shows their address without index.html or index.php just by ending their website address with .com like google.com without showing google.com slash index.php you can find thousands of html and php tutorials on the internet if you like to learn the hard way of manually designing websites i will show you the quick and easy way to design amazing websites using wordpress in my next videos i will be using zamp server instead of womp server in our future videos don't forget to subscribe this channel and also like and share this video.